Today on Cyboom, the doctor puts on a mask. Head stuff. Okay. Then Cyboom gets a little dangerous. Kind of. With some acid. Hey there, viewers. My name is Dr. Eggplant, and today we're going to melt pennies in the copper foil. Make sure you subscribe and or like this video. On with the show. To do this project, you will need some materials. One is a little mask to protect your lungs from the acid fumes. Some safety glasses in case acid gets in your eyes. A jar to hold acid and panties will be putting in the acid. Some acid, muriatic acid, is advised. And last but not least, those of you who don't know, some panties are with more than other panties. Panties made after 1982 are made out of zinc with a copper coating, and panties made before 1982 are made out of copper, and copper is worth more than zinc. Okay, step one. The acid can't get through the outer copper coating, so we have to expose the zinc through filing or by other means. So, we're just gonna use a grindstone to expose our panties. So now we will put the uh, cut pennies into the jar. Now what people used to do back in the older days was they'd get the pennies before 1982, the copper ones. They would get hundreds of dollars worth of those, melt them down, and sell them for more than a hundred dollars worth of pennies. Because copper was more than what the penny was actually worth. Zinc's getting to be about there now, which is why they should stop making pennies, but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Ooh. So. Eh. 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 Stuff. <laughs> now would be the time to put on the face mask so the fumes don't get into your lungs from the acid. There we go. You don't need to be too uh, scared of the acid. If it gets on your fingers, just wash it off real quickly. It's not gonna eat for you or anything. You can see how the pennies fizz as the zinc is being dissolved into carbon dioxide. And uh, now, if you wait a couple hours, this would be a good time for a scene like a couple hours later. Oh, okay, Dr. Eggplant. Here it is. Some time later. So, after a few hours, depending on how many pennies you put in the acid, when the pennies are all nice and dissolved, make sure you pour the jar of acid into a strainer in a sink so the strainer can catch all the penny foils. Never pour water into acid, it'll cause it to explode. Always pour acid into running water going down a drain. So... Pretty cool, huh? And your end result should be a hollowed out empty penny foil, like so. Each side of the foil should be less than one south thousandth of an inch. What happens is, 
the acid dissolves the zinc into zinc ions which are dissolved into the solution, rapidly oxidizing it. And the end result is the leftover copper, which is more resilient to the acid than the zinc is. Ta-da. Okay. What we're gonna do now is test what happens if you pour water in acid. Here we go. Supposedly the acid should boil and explode, but who knows, the books might be overly cautious. Plus this is muriatic acid, a relatively weak acid. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. I guess the books are overly cautious. Well, you can rest easy knowing that acid will not always explode in your face if you choose to wash an acid container improperly. Although we did use a weak form of acid, muriatic acid. Next Cyboom, I'll be traveling to the next galaxy while playing Dune. TM, or copyright, or restricted, on Windows XP. Bing. Bing. Okay, step one. The acid can't get through the outer copper coating, so we have to expose the zinc through filing it or by other means. So, we're just gonna use a grindstone to expose our pens. Yeah. Gonna... I just ran out of the SD card there. Okay. okay. So are we gonna be